Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the differentiation. So differentiate bracket x squared minus 1 multiply with the ln x plus 1 with respect to x. As we can see, the relationship is multiplication. So what we have to do is to apply the product rule. So the formula for the product rule is y prime equals to v multiply with u prime plus u multiply with v prime. So we can denote this as u and this part as v. So now let's begin with the situation. Differentiate the situation. Let's say the y is equals to x squared minus 1 multiply with ln bracket x plus 1. dy dx is equals to v where we have ln bracket x plus 1. Multiply the u where we have 2x plus we have u where we have x squared minus 1. Differentiate the ln bracket x plus 1 and we will have 1 over x plus 1. Do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will have 1. Simplify the situation dy dx is equals to 2x ln bracket x plus 1 plus we have x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. Next, simplify the situation where we will have dy dx is equals to 2x ln x plus 1 plus factorize the x squared minus 1 and we will have x plus 1 multiply with x minus 1 over x plus 1. Finally, dy dx is equals to 2x multiply with ln x plus 1 plus x minus 1. Given the x is equals to ln bracket t squared. So in here we can use the properties of log where we have x is equals to 2 ln t. Next, we have y. So y is equals to 2t minus 2t to the power negative 1, where t cannot be equals to 0. Find the dy dx in terms of t. So where we have the first part, find the dy dx. Hence, find the value of p and q such that the second derivative is equals to p bracket t plus qt. So where we have the second derivative, then find the value of p and q. So first part, we are going to differentiate x with respect to t. So dx dt is equals to 2, differentiate the ln t and we will have 1 over t. So do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will have 1. So rewrite the situation, dx dt is equals to 2 over t. Next, focus on the y. Differentiate the y with respect to t and we will have differentiate 2t, we will have 2 plus 2 over t squared. Next, equate the denominator. So dy dt is equals to 2t squared plus 2 over t squared. Next is to find the dy dx where we have dy dx is equals to dy dt multiply with dt dx. So meaning that we need to flip the situation. So we have 2 bracket t squared plus 1 over t squared multiply with t over 2. So we have a common terms and we can simplify the situation. So finally, the dy dx is equals to t squared plus 1 over t. So if we simplify the situation, dy dx is equals to t plus 1 over t. Or you may write it as t plus t to the power negative 1. Next, we are going to find the second derivative. So the formula for the second derivative for the parametric equation would be second derivative 
is equals to differentiate the dy dx which is in terms of t so the situation will be respect to t multiply with dt dx so now begins the differentiation so differentiate the situation with respect to t where we have t plus t to the power negative 1 multiply with t over 2 so next we will have 1 minus 1 over t squared multiply with t over 2 so equate the denominator so we will have t squared minus 1 over t squared multiply with t over 2 so simplify the situation and we will have the second derivative is equals to t squared minus 1 over 2t the second derivative is equals to t over 2 minus 1 over 2t next what we have to do is to factor out the 1 over 2 rewrite the situation 1 over 2 bracket t minus 1 over t next what we have to do is to compare the situation with the second derivative equals to p bracket t plus q over t so in here we notice that we have p equals to 1 over 2 then the q will be equals to negative 1 so as a conclusion p is equals to 1 over 2 and the q is equals to negative 1 if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend thank you so much for watching this video bye